Welcome back everyone, I'm Adam. Today we're gonna to be going over SPACs, specifically skills and some of their SPACs that I like and that I'm buying in heavily. Okay, so look at the move of skills today. Just in one day, it's up 33%. After hours, it's up another 3.34%. However, on the month, we're still down by 32%. So this move upwards might just be because it reached oversold territory. And so there was a bit of a bounce back because people realized that it was significantly undervalued. Who knows? All I'm saying is with SPAC stocks, you can expect really, really high volatility. Okay, you could be up like a third of your value one day, and then in a month or two, you could be down by 50%, okay? And that's just the nature of some SPAC stocks. And you need to have an iron gut in order to withstand these huge moves in the stock price, okay? But if, if we're looking at skill stock and we go down one and two years down the road, and if you hold the line, uh, hopefully you'll see that you're up by 100 to 200 percent and significantly beating the S&P 500. Okay, because with increased volatility, you definitely expect increased reward. And a lot of SPACs have been beaten down like a dog lately. I literally just talked about skills uh, stock two days ago on April 19th, uh, and I was like, I said that I would be buying into this stock. Uh, and I mean, I didn't think it would blow up this fast. So I only managed to get, you know, four shares and I'm up by 24%. Um, but again, if it goes down, I'll just add to my position, right? And if we're looking again at some technicals here, we can see it was significantly in oversold territory. This is a relative strength index. It was sitting at 22, which is way, way oversold. Anything below 30 is an oversold territory. Of course, we can see this little bump up to around a 42 here. Uh, and still pretty deeply negative if we're looking at the MACD, okay? Uh, and it is still trading below the 50-day moving average at $25.72, okay? And a lot of people have been getting hit pretty hard uh, based on SPAC, some high-profile individuals. One of them is Kamath. Uh, and, you know, on Twitter, he's just like, he's basically trying to defend himself and so many years ago, I decided that we owe it to ourselves to do our own work. We believe in data, we've developed a process, and we stay focused. After this weekend, I asked the team about our SPAC returns uh, to date, and they sent me this. So if we can see here, he owns a couple of social capital SPACs, um, and here it is. So the stock went up by like 25% versus the S&P 500, and most of his stocks actually outperformed the market. Even like, look at this IPOE here, 127% return against S&P 500 of 42.2%, right? And still like, you know, even a lot of people are like saying that you're a joke, you know, uh, what a weasel, right? So so he's getting a lot of heat because a lot of SPACs that he backed have been absolutely down, went down the drain. And because a lot of investors don't have patience, they piled in a lot of money into the SPACs and then it tanked and then they decided to sell out uh, because they didn't see gains right away. But, you know, nothing good ever comes uh, immediately, okay? Like, only good things come to those who wait, right? Uh, I know it's a trite saying, but again, I, I believe it's true. This is one of his other investments that absolutely uh, has taken a beating, right? Uh, it's up by 5% today. Clover Health Investments after, this is like a medical company. And the reason why it took such a beating was because uh, it, it turns out that they didn't have as many subscribers as they thought they would have to its medical device, okay? It's some sort of online electronic medical uh, thing, right? So it's still down close to 50% since its peak right? And we can see a little bit of a bump up of 23%. And again, this just shows you how incredibly volatile certain SPAC stocks are. So if you are invested, be sure you can ride these out. All right. And uh, PaySafe, another one, I, this is one I'm invested in and that I'm down on. Okay. It was down by 12% uh, to $12.40. Uh, and then if, you know, at its peak, it was up by like 5.6%, right? And now it's slowly trading here. So this was a SPAC called BFT, uh, Bill Foley, Transamin Acquisition Corporation. They all have these funny names. And now, you know, it's trading as PaySafe. And this is one of the, this is the major worldwide uh, online platform when you where you, when you make transactions in iGaming, okay? So for it to be trading at near its opening, uh, like basically IPO price at $10 is, you know, that's a cheap valuation. I'll keep adding shares, okay? Um same thing with Tattoo Chef. That, that was the main stock that I talked about two days ago, saying that I would be buying this stock. And I, how, what was it? It was at like, you know, $16.62. And I mean, it went down and now it's at still like $16.46 uh, despite this 2% move up, okay? You're looking at the five day chart. Absolutely took a beating because the chief financial officer um, was getting replaced or something like that, 
So, you know, not very relevant news, but it just went down 16.9%. This was another SPAC, so that's also probably another reason. Um, you look at CCIV, it's up by 8% today. So is NEO, uh, to be fair. And this is an electric vehicle luxury maker uh, known as basically Lucid. And it, when it reverse merges, it's going to go under the ticker symbol LUCD, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and I mean, you look at the six month chart, started trading at $10 a share as most backs do, hit $58. That's when I got out of the stock and now it's down by 65%, okay? So whew, I feel sorry for people, you know, investing at $58. That's reminiscent of um, highly on stock, which I am an avid investor in. Again, it's, it's trading below its IPO price at, or SPAC price at $10 a share. And I've been absolutely loading the boat on this guy and it's down 34% uh, over the past month, over the past six months, you know, down 65%, beaten down unnecessarily, I think, okay? So another really good opportunity right here. Um, but again, you just have to be able to withhold and withstand the risk. Arrival Group. So this is another reverse back merger. This one operates in, in uh, Britain. And again, over the past month, it's down 43%, despite this nice 12% move up, okay? So it might just be a temporary bounce back. Uh, it might have a vigorous bounce back since it, you know, traded at $36 a share once Jim Cramer was pumping it up. By the way, Jim Cramer is someone who's like, you know, when a stock is popular, you're like, oh yeah, you know, it's a good buy, it's a good buy. And then you hear crickets as soon as the stock drops by like 59%. I haven't heard him talking about Arrival, Um since basically he caused the price to go to $36 a share, right? And I mean, you know, where is he now talking about Lucid when it's down by 60%, right? So the key is, is, is if you like the stock at $36, you thought it was a fair value at $36, you should be, love the stock at $13, a fraction of the price, right? Um, another one that I'm, I'm invested in, I'm not invested in Arrival, uh, is Star Peak Energy. Okay, so you know over the past six months, still up over the past six months, but since it's high is at fifty dollars, it's down by fifty two percent, right? Three percent move up. Uh, so SPACs tend to move in unison. That's one. Uh, two, we can see how volatile they are. And three, you just have to be ready to to either buy low volatile stocks like Verizon, uh, or just not participate in this market because you're going to lose a lot of money. And Star Peak Energy, by the way, is one of my uh, favorite SPAC stocks just because it's in the battery storage industry and it's combining battery storage with AI. So when you combine those two, uh, you basically figure out how to store more energy in the batteries that you have and make it more compact. And I think this is, of course, what the future is. You look at Joe Biden's one, two trillion dollar plan for the environment, and it includes stuff like battery tech, uh, electric vehicles, which I think, of course, Lucid is going to thrive off of uh, a lot of these other um, companies highly on is going to thrive off of as well. Okay, so uh, definitely check out my free Discord, uh, and there's even a link. So here, there's there's a free Discord. We talk about you know penny stocks. We talk about uh, electric vehicle stocks, solo, uh, some cryptos, spacs, of course, uh, and we all just gather around our thoughts, talk about stocks that we want to buy and sell, and then there's even a private channel uh, where if you pay five dollars a month. Uh, you can basically gain admission to my buys and sells in real time. So um, let me know if you the video. Please be sure to smash the thumbs up button. I appreciate you all. I love you. Take care. Be safe out there and have a fantastic day.